Today we're going to be talking about expressions of emotions in French. So we will do a little quiz. Um, oh. So Petra, <laughs> Ashley and Nelvin, you will get um, four options, A, B, C and D. Um, which one of which is supposed to be the corresponding literal translation okay. of the French um, expression. So now. What do you think être fleur bleu means? Être is to be? I know fleur is flower. Yeah. But is that how you spell that? Flower? I think so. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, good question. I, like good question. I know this from a Japanese manga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think one. Literally, it would be one. That's not what I think. I think it's the third one, so the field blue. I don't know. What 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 do you think it means? Like to be a blue flower, I think it's like a wallflower, so like to be a bit more shy and timid and stay like in the background. Okay. Wow, that's deep. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting deep. We're talking about emotions now. <laughs> I'm actually I'm actually thinking that one is the literal translation and three is the meaning. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. You might have cracked the case. <laughs> <laughs> it's not I, that I'm going to do it. There's only one after. I'm going with the third one, so to feel blue. Okay. So the correct answer is to be blue flower. Yes. <laughs> is the literal translation. It's être to be fleur flower blue blue blue. To be blue blue flower. Okay. Now, what does to be blue flower mean? Isn't it what I should say? It's actually. Um, so the idea is you open. You open your heart like the petals open, <laughs> the, the flower opens its <laughs> petals. But it's also actually used to talk about someone who's very romantic. Oh! oh. Blue. Okay. So I'm not really sure why the colour blue. If anyone has any explanations, please comment below. <laughs> but um, yes, it's actually someone who's very romantic or very in that romantic mood. is. Like, do you use it directly as a per uh, on a person? Like, oh, he is like a blue flower. Yeah, you say, oh, il est très fleur, fleur bleu, for example. Oh. It means he's very romantic, but it, so it's very sort of attached to the sentimental aspects of relationships. Okay. 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 Yeah. Interesting. Okay. So this one, sauter de joie. Well, I, I think <laughs> I don't think it's the truth box one. <laughs> I would love if there was an expression for that, <laughs> but I don't think this is it. Okay. I would I would say it's A, because that's yeah, almost logical out of the four. Yeah. Okay. And Although, what would it mean? To be so happy. Very happy. Yeah. Yes. Very happy. Okay. Although for the first word, I always think that it's like saute. <laughs> like, to <cook. laughs> Well, because well, I like the things that are like the pan. Oh. Yes. Yeah. You might be on a, on a... Okay, I'll give you the answer. Yeah, exactly. So actually, sauté and sauté, they're, they, they're the same origin because it's like, as you say, it's oh. about it, jumping yeah. in. I and mean, then I kind of know the answer already <laughs> because I, I know what jump is. And yeah. So French. there you go. And you've got it. So it's to jump out of joy. It's to be so happy, you literally go like, yay! And then you're jumping. You can't contain it. <laughs> yeah, you can't contain it. You're jumping up and down. So... You ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Avoir les yeux qui pétillent. <laughs> Sorry, I like your option. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, les wow. yeux is eyes. Um, to have your eyes, like the eyes, and then I guess I would go with A. Okay. Jump out of fright? Yeah. Oh, like... Like, like your eyeballs pop. Pop. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, you're really scared. And I'm getting... Pedlin is like... The equivalent to be petrified. Uh -huh. Ooh, I'm actually thinking of B. Okay. I mean, because I, I have no clue where to start, but I'm pretty sure it's something to do with eyes because you have three options relating to eyes and sight. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I don't think it's see-through. Um, 
but I have no idea what the last two words mean. So I just thought glistening eyes just sounds like an emotion you would get from being infatuated. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Wow. What a word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going like with A as well. Okay. Because I just can't imagine like what do you mean by glistening eyes? <laughs> to be teary eyed. <laughs> you know like the cartoons like ding ding ding. ding. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So you two are going with the option of it being sort of your, when you're scared, and you're yeah. saying it's maybe when you're infatuated. Yes. Okay. And the answer is B to have glistening eyes. Yeah. But it's teary eyes, like being like no. No, that could be that could have been a good option as well. But it's actually pity is something. Um, it's really like it's it's really when it's shiny and glistening, and it just means you're so happy. I like your starry eyed. Oh. Yes. So it's when you're okay. so happy or you're so pleasantly surprised that your eyes are literally glistening. And usually it's because you're so happy or you're so su pleasantly surprised that you might get like a bit of, you know, a bit of happy tears. Te happy tears. And so your eyes are all shiny and, you know, they're widely open. And petit is really like a strong way to say something. And when you say le champagne petit, you talk about champagne saying it's like. You know, it pops, it's like it pops and it glistens and everything at the same time. So, here comes our last one. Comme un livre à cœur ouvert. Well, live is book. Yeah. Yes. And cœur is hard. Yeah. And ouvert is, is open. open. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and what does this mean? Um, like, to be like, like an, an open, open book. book. <laughs> but is it an emotion though? Because I was thinking like maybe you are just a, a very um... open person. No, it's but more like a personality. Yeah, trait, exactly. Not really an emotion, but I, I think that still sort of fits the theme of that's the video. That's true. So yeah. I'm yeah. going with that. Okay, that is the correct answer, and you're right. <laughs> it's sort of on sort of borderline. Is it? Is it? Uh, is it an emotion? Is it about personality? Um, in in French literature, it's very often used to describe when you talk about someone who has a, a who is like a, a, a livre à cœur ouvert. It's um, you're often talking about someone who um, who opens up about their emotions, mm -hmm. um, and so I guess it's personality, but it's it's also you know you're letting your emotions spill out. Okay. So, that's why I still included it in our expression about emotions. But it's more describing the person rather than the emotion itself. Okay. There you go. Interesting. Well, so you did quite well. <laughs> well done. Thank you. I can see you're, you, you've picked up on some uh, French words. <laughs> um, and I wonder how you have done at home. But if you have anything you would like to comment on, please do so. You know, below. Merci de voir regarder notre vidéo. Nous espérons que cela vous ait plu. Si c'est le cas, pensez à liker, commenter et à partager la vidéo avec votre famille et vos amis. Vous souhaitez en voir davantage? Allez jeter un coup d'œil à notre playlist. N'oubliez pas de vous abonner à notre chaîne et à cliquer sur la petite cloche pour... Et se voir des notifications de nos vidéos à venir.